Yo, what's up guys? I wanted to bring you a video on resources and bag item hoarding. There's a lot to go over, but I'm going to try to be really quick. So I'll brush over the dailies and stuff and just be really quick with this. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is tap your farm. If you are over your food cap, it will actually return everything that your idle soldiers have eaten uh, past the cap. So in the millions of food can be returned. So you want to do that first. And then if you have fast producer available, you use that, tap that, and it'll gather from your resource buildings here again. Uh, do that every 12 hours if you can. Uh, and then before you do your dailies, if you are VIP 10 or higher, make sure your talent's set. So you'd come here and it's like, okay, I got economy set. Now I can set my gatherers. Before you do a layer, okay, I'm war mode or whatever, you know, get your military up. So... Uh, let's say you're not VIP 10. You're gonna want diamonds. Uh, you want you're gonna want to go to the diamond shop with your diamonds and only buy VIP points until you're VIP 10. Uh, let's say you're VIP 10. I like buying a ton of AP bolts and blue books are no longer a problem for me anymore because I've dumped a ton of diamonds into AP bolts. So. You can run a lot of campaign and collect those books. Uh, after that, save diamonds for diamond events. Uh, so daily questing, you guys should all know that stuff. Tap in the resource buildings, gathering and, and gathering rare earth. You guys should know all that. So uh, follow the alliance events, fo follow the main events in the game. You're good to go. That's the basic stuff. Um, if you didn't already, come to your Sanctuary Overview and you can see the resources you have in your bag. That's ideal. It's completely protected there. So I'm very body bottom heavy on the stats. You can see it, it's safely in the bag. So besides that, you'll store in the Alliance Warehouse. You want to utilize the Alliance Resource Building and like always be gathering out of that. Uh, or you could stop by the mystery shop and if by chance there's some resources involved here, this is like storing resources. So I could spend 55,000 gas and have 1.6 million food stored. Uh, that's a neat trick. Uh, sometimes a game you get certain plateaus. So let's say you're, you've hit your troop size. So why would you just keep pumping resources into uh, troops when you need some certain upgrades? So sometimes you might want to only make 250 troops, let's say. And it's like, okay, now I can meet my daily quest, but save a lot of resources. Sometimes I do that. Um, if you have units to tier up, sometimes that can be good too. That's like a really cheap way. If I had some tier sevens, I could go, hey, I want, I want 250 of them promoted. That is a cheap way to meet your daily quest. Uh, and newer players could also stop by the campaign and utilize the ultimate challenge if they haven't done it already. Uh, that gives you a lot of gear and stuff. Um, but always, always be on top of those things. Uh, now, when you're dealing with resources, all the resources of for food and wood are equal. Um, unless... You're talking about these two resource boxes. Food and, food and wood is equal at a 5 to 1 ratio to steel and a 20 to 1 ratio to gas. Uh, so if I can, so if you go here to the resource box, uh, I don't have any resource choice boxes, but if you did have a resource choice box, it yields more gas and steel according to that ratio that I said compared to food and wood. So lesser resource choice boxes don't really matter. Mostly you use them on food and wood, I guess, but you can't, you can also use them on steel and gas. But if you had resource choice boxes here, only spend those on steel and gas. That's, it has the best trade ratio. Other than that, uh, um, unless you were, Oh, the update just hit. Unless you were a higher level in arena, you would go to the uh, 
survival. No, you go to the glory shop. And I believe this gives you... What the... F oh, wait. If the commander shop was open, you could use that on food. I believe that is a good food trade. Uh, it's not available right now. Uh, okay, so... Obviously, Nova, you could use on eco points. That's easy. Why am I bringing this up? Just make sure you're upgrading the lab. And now when you spend your points, it gives a discount. So I'm HQ 26 and my lab's only 22. Uh, I should probably level this up a couple times before I dump a bunch of military points in. That's a neat trick. Uh, obviously, get economy heroes when i do the economy heroes i leave them all at the minimum level they need to be at so i can use the anti serum on other stuff so they're on 31 a bunch of them or 71 or 131 uh or 211 etc okay you guys got that we we can always go into alliance chat and ask people hey um can i get some resources We'll always help each other out with that. Uh, hop in on high-level layers. That's good. Always use your supply depot. You should be doing that anyways for daily quest. We just got the update, so boom. I need steel. Uh, let's see here. The sanctuary building setup. You're going to want a bunch of boot camps and a bunch of infirmaries. A army heavy does yield a lot of resources with the events and the gameplay but uh to each their own i still need some catching up to do i gotta sell these virology labs everybody gets enough uh green goo by the end so you really only need one uh the rest you're gonna want the resource building so i'm gonna trade up for some more steel and uh gas buildings i'm gonna get rid of some lumber mills and some virology labs later that you want to make sure your sanctuary is built right. Uh, and I'm very behind on the upgrades. Like I said, I'm 26. I need to keep up with these and not slack or I will fall behind on resources. I'm making up for it with some army stuff, but I didn't do too well with this Valiant. So I it did not cover the amount I vested in my army and the resources. I probably could have just upgraded these, but I didn't know I would do so bad. But use that information how you want. Uh, figure it out. Don't worry if you have the Nova points in the wrong spot. Don't worry if you have your heroes upgraded wrong. You could reset both of those. And you could also just trash these buildings like I was talking about. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to upgrade it later. Whatever. It, it's not too bad uh, getting them up from the lower levels. It's more time to make up for time. So... Going to each shop, this is the final stretch here. Bag items, what do I do? Uh, you want to buy Varvara until she's maxed and then you use this for chips. You guys pretty much all know that. And you want to use your runes until you've maxed, or not the runes, the rare earth, until you've maxed McCarty. All right. And then when it comes to the Reservoir War or you know, Global Ace Commander or Dead Rising or Clash and any of those stores, you can access them at any time. So just wait. So on Hero Day, I'm going to buy some more Lavina. I didn't, we didn't do well and get a lot of water bottles there, but I had 9,000 bottles saved one time and it gave me a lot during the Hero Upgrade event. So you could come here at any time and get that, uh, those certain shops and, and use them at any time. It's uh, very helpful. When it comes to what bag items should I save, you should get familiar with the event schedule. I'll do my best to post it to the Alliance Mail. I post something like this, and I try to use the terminology well, like get hero frags versus using speed ups and getting Mark of Glory. Uh, it's a little bit different because You'll get all the gear and stuff this week, but then don't enhance or promote your items. Wait for break loose during Thursday through Saturday of both weeks 
uh, or for mainly the rider hero guys or for more rewards, you'll do it during during the uh, Friday might day. So literally getting the items on week two and then using it in week one, uh, you get points for increasing in might versus getting points for getting the items. All right. So referring to these, uh, this schedule, you'll, I'll quickly reference, um, all right, I got kicked there, uh, using that schedule. I will now refer to the bag in gadget and other save all the boxes. The, this specifically says you don't get event points, but you're going to want to save all the hero cards for hero day. I save diamonds, so I'm not tempted to use them. Uh, and also for diamond and diamond events, you can specifically choose which gear with these items. I'm saving the nano weapon for nano uh, day, uh, the nano box for nano day. And then depending on which week you hit, you'll want to open the boxes on certain days i'm a shooter or for fighters now on week two you'd want to open this on nova or gear day because it can kind of give you a help a helpful boost um and then cubes during cube events save your ap and stam for those events you're going to want to save everything when in doubt save it that's the best rule of thumb the it's more of what can i use and you, you can use Nova XP, that really doesn't affect anything. But you do want to save the crystals for Nova Day, Nova Module Day. Uh, there's a speed up day, so I save as many speed ups as I can, so I can pump those out. And before I do the speed ups on speed up day, I use all the building boosts and then do my building upgrades and research upgrades with research boosts. And I try to upgrade building speed and research speed and all those stuff right away while I have all these abilities and talents used. And then I will switch my talent set for training and then I'll train units. And going in that order, I get a really efficient use of my speed ups because of the order I'm in and I am assured that the talents are set during the time that I'm using it. So that's very helpful. And the other thing that you can for sure use, which is up top and other is commander XP. You can use that too. Pretty much everything else you're going to want to save. So that's the best I could do. You know, in the end, kind of like the last thing to mention is for events, you could check. We have a day left, but you know, leading up to the end of Diamond Expert, I'll say, hey, uh, hey, thanks for loading. Uh, I'll say, hey, it's fifty six thousand six hundred points. I'm rake eight seventeen. Hey, just finished the phases. The last phase is fifty six thousand. So if you just barely hit it, you'll pass. Now, leading up to the time, it might be, let's say, 60, 70,000. So if anyone was still debating, we'll me message chat and say, hey, this is what you need if you're trying to push it or not or save. It's very helpful through all the events. Sometimes it's borderline. Don't hesitate to ask us. And last, last, last but not least, if you do spend money, just keep in mind that if you spend a buck, it's it's better like if i bought this daily box for a dollar the next thing that comes up if you do the math it won't actually be the same so it'll be five dollars after this and i bet you'll you won't get a multiple of five it'll be it'll probably be like this you'll get 43 instead of nine now these are two different uh items like one's enhance one's promote uh, it's probably a little bit different math but typically when you go through this stuff the dollars are better buy up the cheap ones first and then go for the expensive ones sometimes rare items uh especially like nano weapons uh or the daily sale and limited offer uh sometimes those check those first too like uh those are a great deal like 
and also never use never i repeat never use this diamond section like uh what 2400 diamonds is ten dollars but if i went to the daily sale i get 20 2400 diamonds plus 7500 diamonds and no well granted it's diamond day but uh you could i should probably use this as an example 2400 diamonds plus myers and this and that for 10 but then obviously the first one i was going to you get all this for 10 uh just never go to that diamond section so that is going to be your best bet when it comes to the mall uh anyways long video is going to be over now